there's a controversy with Jordan and LeBron. Who's the best? One game on our home floor to bring home another championship, man. It's fun for fans to debate that. Michael is the one that set the bar. It changed everything. It changed basketball. He wants to be the greatest of all time. Down the floor, Michael caught it. He's on target, turn, sends it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I am back with another video, where this time we'll be discussing LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers, who most recently clinched the 7th seed in the Western Conference. Now as you guys know, the West this year has been loaded, you have great teams like Utah, Phoenix, the Clippers, the Nuggets, as well as the Mavs and the Blazers. And looking at the Lakers right now, they are far from your normal 7th seed, and actually in my opinion, they are the best 7th seed in NBA history. Keep in mind this team is still the defending champions, they still have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and some great complimentary players to surround them. Now in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through what I think is going to happen to this Lakers team and what a fifth championship could do for LeBron James and his overall legacy as the greatest basketball player of all time. Now before I get into that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so, and if you could like this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So LeBron James right now is 36 years old in his 18th season. And this year he missed the most games of his career due to various injuries. And coming into the 2021 playoffs, the Lakers don't have much chemistry and they have an uphill battle to win the championship. And if you want to look at the hypothetical road to a fifth ring, here's how it would look. In the first round, they played the Suns, the second round, the Nuggets, the Conference Finals, the Clippers, and the NBA Finals, the Brooklyn Nets. Now, assuming the Lakers beat all four of those teams, the win percentage combined of those four squads will be exactly 67%. That would rank fifth all time as the toughest championship ever. And if you look at SRS, the simple rating system, which also ranks how good teams are, this championship run will rank fourth. And in NBA history, this Lakers team will join one of only four teams ever to be top five in both those stats, that being the 95 Rockets, the 97 Bulls, and the 02 Lakers. And LeBron early in the year said that he thinks he had the two toughest championships ever in NBA history, that being 2016 and 2020. I do disagree, but I think this championship run 2021 could actually be one of the most difficult championships ever given the overall context of this Lakers team not being together much and their two star players missing significant time. And if they did win the championship, they would be the lowest seed ever to do so. Now for the question you all want to know, if LeBron James win this championship while still being elite LeBron James, do I think he would be the greatest player of all time in my opinion? And my answer would still be no. I think it would make the debate a lot more interesting. I think he'd have a real case of being the greatest player, but in my humble opinion, I would still have a number two behind Jordan. And I think looking at an overall basketball perspective as individual players, I still think Michael Jordan is better than LeBron James. I think he had the better peak. I think he was a better score, better defensive player. And I think overall a better leader and a better clutch time player. LeBron James, of course, has the best longevity ever. And he's continued to be great for 18 plus years. And solely looking at the counting numbers, LeBron James is going to blow Jordan out of the water when it's all said and done. But longevity can be deceiving and is only one of many criteria to being the greatest player of all time. And I do find it funny that after all these years, LeBron fans finally acknowledge that championships do matter for a player's legacy. Go back to 2015, 2014, LeBron fans were always saying championships are a team accomplishment and they have no bearing on the greatest player of all time. Fast forward to present day, and they're saying that this championship could make him the greatest player of all time, contradicting all those years prior we said championships did not matter. Now me and every rational basketball fan, we always know championships, they're a factor in being the GOAT. And just the overall mystique of Jordan and something LeBron can never catch him in, of course the six championships he could, but with Jordan, there was always the feeling of him being invincible, he was undefeated in the finals, and once he reached the mountaintop, he stayed there twice for three consecutive years something LeBron James has not even done once. Also, Jordan's overall influence on the court as well as off has superseded LeBron James, and in Jordan's time, he made the NBA more popular than it's ever been, something you can't say with LeBron James. Now, something you can say about LeBron that you can't say about Jordan is LeBron James left teams multiple times to form super teams with other superstars. Back in 2011, he went to the Heat with D-Wade and Chris Bosh, the first ever modern day free agent super team. In 2015, he went to the Cavs with Kevin Love and Kyrie, and of course a year ago, Anthony Davis joined LeBron James in LA and once again formed a dominant team with the Lakers. And Jordan, unlike LeBron, never left the Bulls in his prime, never asked for their superstar help, and Jerry Krause even says that Jordan never came to him and demanded a trade for a certain player. 
That also cannot be said about LeBron James, who plays pseudo-GM with nearly every team he's on. And lastly, Jordan's overall peak and his absolute highest point, in my opinion, will always be better than LeBron James, his three-year peak, his five-year peak, whatever you want to call it, that will always be better than LeBron James and whatever you think his peak was. And I don't want to go too in-depth right now, but LeBron's overall resume, he definitely has more black spots than Jordan, and if you look to nitpick his GOAT case, all you really have to do is look at his first eight years in the NBA, specifically the 2011 Finals, the 2010 Meltdown versus Boston, and just some overall disappointing playoff runs that he had early in his career. And unlike Jordan, LeBron at points in his career, he didn't have that killer mentality, he wasn't always a great clutch time player, and just in general, he's more of a passive player opposed to Jordan, who was a cutthroat killer who wanted to score 40, 50 points and get his team the W. Now, one last thing I'll say in this video is that in my opinion, LeBron James, he can never really be the consensus GOAT and the greatest player of all time like Michael Jordan was. Maybe one day LeBron James has seven championships, seven MVPs, and a laundry list of accomplishments that Jordan never had. But right now, at this moment, Jordan is still a greater player all time. And I don't think NBA fans overall will give LeBron James the GOAT crown like Jordan had for so many years and that he continues to have on into the 2020s. And with these GOAT debates, these all-time discussions, it does get very heated, but at the end of the day, it comes down to your personal criteria and your overall perspective on the game of basketball. In my opinion, Jordan will always be the best player of all time and the GOAT in my eyes. So in summary, if LeBron wins his fifth championship, me personally, I would not say he's the greatest player of all time. It makes it closer, it makes it more interesting, and I think some fans will give LeBron James the edge over Jordan because of the tough 2021 championship. And like I said before, that championship run, regardless of how LeBron plays, as a Lakers team, that would be one of the most difficult runs in NBA history. In my opinion, it would easily crack the top 10 for the most difficult championships in NBA history. So that right there is the end of the video. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Why a fifth championship this year make LeBron James the GOAT over Michael Jordan? Do you think LeBron is already the GOAT? Or are you always going to have Jordan at that number one spot like me? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.